We're going to give you some verbal transformations. We want you to create the new function, identify its parent function. So the first parent is a cubic function. Function parent is y equals x cubed. The transformation is vertically shifted up 7. So the vertical axis is your y axis. The y axis is outside the function. So it's going to be outside the cubic. And we're going to be going up 7. So it's going to be a plus 7. So our new equation is y equals x cubed outside the function is going to be adding 7. The second example is an absolute value function. So the absolute value function's parent looks like this. And there is two transformations. Let's do the first one, vertically shifted down to. Uh, a vertical shift is your y-axis, and it's down two. So you're going to be subtracting two from all of your y's. That's outside the function. So y equals the absolute value of x, and that's outside the absolute value, minus 2. The second transformation is a horizontal shift, left 4. This is your x-axis, and it is going to be inside the absolute value. And I always tell my students, think opposite about your x-axis, your horizontal axis. Since it's left 4, we think we want to subtract 4, but we really are going to add four into the absolute value. Our last example is another absolute value function. So the equation is y equals the absolute value x. The first transformation is it's vertically shifted up to. So your vertical axis is your y axis. And it's up to, so we're going to add two to our y's. In the equation, it's going to be outside the function. The vertical is always outside. So y equals the absolute value of x. And then outside, we're going to add 2. The second transformation is a horizontal shift, right 5. So this is your x-axis when you go horizontal. It's going to be inside the absolute value function. And we think opposite. Since it's right 5, you want to say, let's add 5, but we're going to do the opposite. We're going to subtract 5. So we're going to subtract 5 from inside the absolute value function.